guys, we're back, and we're coming back with episode 74. Today, we're gonna review an awesome family bo family board game. It's called King, King of, of Tokyo. Tokyo. It's really cool because it's got when you play, you get to have uh, a giant. You could either be a giant Godzilla, a really cool uh, machine. bunny machine that can shoot like missiles, a Godzilla, or just a giant monkey ape thing. Now, let's see what's inside the box. Inside the box we get a instruction manual and a Tokyo board. And then we got a deck full, yeah. And we got some dice. We'll get to the green dice later. And then we have some boards for the characters. And here are some of the main characters and there's also some power cubes and some little markers. Now let's see how the game is played. So guys, we are gonna tell you all the rules, but we're just gonna give you a little taste of how the game plays. All right guys, as you can see, we've got, the, we've got the board set out, we've got the dice ready, and all of us have chosen our people. Yay! The object of the game is to either get 20 star points, victory points, or kill everybody else. We do this by rolling dice. Let's take a closer look at the die. Okay guys, these are, these are the symbols on the dice. This symbol right here kind of looks like a giant claw. That means that you attack anybody outside of your area. For instance, let's say I was the Mecha Dragon. I would, if I rolled that, that, that claw thingy, whatever, I could damage all the people outside of Tokyo. So I could damage Gigasaur and I could damage the king and they would get one lo lower health. The next symbol is a heart. It's really simple. You just get one heart back on your tracker. The lightning bolt means that you get one power cube to buy really cool stuff. With those power cubes, I could become a super stretchy gigasaur with wings and an extra head. These numbers, these numbers, it's just, uh, it helps you get victory points. Let's say I rolled two, two, three twos in my turn. That, that doesn't count as six points. That only counts as two points. Same thing with three. If I rolled three threes, I would only have three points. And one big part also is that I can, re -roll, I can ha roll three times during my turn. So let's say I rolled once, I can keep those. Then I can roll these again. I could keep those two, and then I could re-roll this once. Then I'm stuck with that. Okay, guys, that's pretty much how you play the game. Roll some dice, get some power cubes, grow an extra head, and demolish. Now let's tell you what we really think of the game. Okay, guys, as you can see, this game is really rad. If you want a cool family board game, just go to your local game shop and go pick up get King of Tokyo. It's really fun. We play this a lot of times when we want to play a good board game. And if you want to see all our other 73 board game reviews, go to www.gamesofhand.com. Until next time, I'm Hayden. And I'm Jackson. And we're out of here.